when COVID started, Deutsche Telekom, of course, had a lot of students who came home to their parents that were on the network and wanted to access the university. Deutsche Forschungsnetz uh, had an ESU that students couldn't access their university classes from Deutsche Telekom's network because Deutsche Telekom didn't have enough transit and didn't have enough interconnection. Deutsche Forschungsnetz has an interconnection with everybody and friends it from a multitude of places, including from JL, the European Academic Network System. What happened? Deutsche Telekom wouldn't, didn't want to upgrade its interconnections with anybody unless the German universities paid for it. So now the German universities have an extra pipe specifically to Deutsche Telekom. Not because they wanted to, not because they needed, not because they didn't have any capacity, but because Deutsche Telekom refused to invest, well, 5,000 to 20,000 euro, but probably because it's Deutsche Telekom, they make it very difficult with procedures. Let's say the Deutsche Telekom would have to invest 150,000 euro because they are Deutsche Telekom mostly. We have gotten this work, but they refused. And they made the universities pay for it. So there are inherent dangers to this proposal, but they're on the side of telecom firms. They're lazy. They don't want to invest in interconnection. And if they get extra money for it, for being lazy, they will continue this practice. So we shouldn't, absolutely shouldn't do this. 